welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. It's Thursday here in Australia and I've just come back home from my local food bank. On Thursdays they offer a low cost fruit and veggie box to anyone in our local community. Anyone's able to go along and buy these. Uh, it ranges usually from about three to five dollars the, the cost of the boxes. Uh, this week it was four dollars. So I'll give you a closer look at what was actually in the box this week, what I what I got. Uh, there was quite a few apples this week. I think I counted uh, 10 apples altogether. There was these nice, um, I'm not sure what type it is, nice red looking apples and some Granny Smiths, which I like to cook with or bake with. Good for making apple sauce. So four of those. Uh, there was a little lemon and there's a little, some type of lime I think it is. And I was pleased to see that there were some potatoes in this week's box. There's six potatoes. And there's also a very nice wedge of pumpkin, which is fantastic. This is, I think it's a, a Kent pumpkin. I actually, sometimes when I roast these, um, even eat the skin. Do you leave the skin on your pumpkin when you roast it? Do you like eating skin on pumpkin sometimes? If it, if it looks good and... Um, Young, especially if I have some homegrown pumpkins and I know they haven't had chemicals or sprays on them, I definitely like to eat the skin. Lots of good vitamins. And there was a nice capsicum, two capsicum in the box today. And three of these, these are like little sweet capsicum or sweet peppers. So there's three of those as well. So that was everything that was in the fruit and veggie box. And along with the fruit and veggie boxes, they offer what they call coal bags. Uh, these ones usually are around the $5 mark, and it was $5 again this week. And sometimes you are able to pick and choose. Other times um, it's all bagged up and you just get handed a bag if you want one for the, for the money. And uh, this week it's one of the mystery ones, so I don't know what's in it. I can tell it's the ready meals like we've had in the past. So let's have a look. I, I haven't actually gone through and checked what there is, so it'll be a surprise to me. <laughs> Untying knots on camera. It doesn't always work. Hang on a minute. Right, now that we've got that sorted, let's have a look what we got. You can see already it's some type of chicken meal. There's a crumb chicken meal. That's great. That's a favourite in our house. I'm just going to give you a bit of a look at what they look like. Keep in mind these are frozen, so they do need to be heated up in the microwave and they look quite a lot different when they're cooked. So that's the crumb chicken one. It looks like some mashed potato and gravy chicken and green beans. And the next one is sweet soy chicken veggie veg and rice. I think we had one of these the other week. And you can't really see because of the condensation. But it's basically a bit like a stir fry in there with some rice. And continuing the chicken theme. <laughs> some chicken wings, vegetables and noodles looks like that and this one's chicken and vegetable hot pot and rice again I think we had some of these the other week this one's stuck to the, the top might see if there's there might be another one further down I'll come back to that one Oh, next one's battered fish, mash and beans. So that's a bit different. That's slightly different to what we've had before. Seems to be that the green beans are a theme. I think they use a lot of seasonal vegetables in these um, meals. So obviously green beans have been in season. <laughs> uh, this one was, sorry, I got rid of the sleeve. 
chicken and vegetable hot pot and rice. So that's the same as what the other one before will require. So a lot of different veggies. If I read the actual label, so chicken, zucchini, beans, carrot, Rogan Josh, Josh <laughs> seasoning, fennel seeds, tomato, passata, spices, chili, rice, and salt and pepper. So that'll give you an idea of the flavour and what's in it. And we've got a bolognese and pasta. That's good. My husband will like that one. And this one is spiced apple and chocolate biscuit crumb one. Now we did get a couple of these um, the other week and we have tried one of them and they were quite nice. And this one again you can't really see it's all iced up on top. It's basically like uh, stewed apple underneath with chocolate cookie sort of crumb topping. And yeah, it was pretty nice. Not something um, you probably make yourself with the chocolate crumb on the top. It's something a bit different. We've got a crumb chicken meal again. So that's similar to the earlier one. And lucky last is sweet soy chicken, veggie and rice again. So there you go. So just to give you a recap, we ended up with one of the sweet apple and chocolate biscuit crumb ones. And then all the rest was savoury. So there was a battered fish, a bolognese and pasta, and chicken wings and veggies and noodles. And there was basically double up of two each of the chicken hot pots and the soy chicken and rice and two of the, the crumb chicken meals. That's a pretty good variety, I think. So that was what was in the $5 cold bag this week. I did also get, they have freezers at this particular food bank and they have different items that they put in it that you're able to take uh, just for free if you feel you can use them. And I picked up one of these packets of wrappers. I've used these um, sometimes if you have like leftover mince or savoury savoury beans or lentils you can do like little dim sim type little packages with them put them in the steamer so these are frozen so yeah I picked up one of those and I also got one little yogurt as well this is vanilla and I think it's honey so one little I think it's like a Greek style yogurt vanilla and honey one again this one's been frozen so that's what I got in the cold items. I did also get some bread. They did have bread you're able to take as well. I picked up a packet of these soft glazed milk buns again because I did get them the other week and they were quite nice. I also got something a little bit different. They had these, what they call white chocolate and raspberry blonde brownies which look like this. <laughs> they look pretty good, actually. They're not actually made with um, flour. It says they're wheat-free. And I was reading before, it's actually made with uh, chickpea flour and almond meal. So, yeah, they, they look interesting and, you know, something a bit different to try. So there's six little pieces in there. I did also get some fruit hot cross buns. These are gluten free ones. They had a whole heap of these so I just got picked up one packet. I thought that would be nice maybe for morning teas or afternoon teas. Uh, did also get a loaf of bread. This is just the wholemeal and seeds loaf of bread. One of those. And they had also some of these big Lebanese flatbreads. So I got a a six pack of those and last but not least of course some junior mints as well so three boxes of junior mints I was fortunate enough to be given to so that was everything I got this Thursday from my local food bank 
and all up it costs nine dollars so I think that's that's not bad it's pretty good <laughs> don't think if you were to go to the supermarket at the moment you'd be able to get quite so much food for that amount of money and if you're also needing a helping hand to stretch your groceries and your food budget please don't hesitate to seek out and find a local food bank or food pantry in your area if you're needing a helping hand as well there is links down below in my description box if you need a starting point but thanks again everybody for watching i hope you have a lovely week and until next time take care